Okay, guys. So, I'm back with another one this evening. Um, and I just wanted to talk about a few soapy fragrances that I really love. Um, and I'm going to be going through the notes. So, I just want to jump in, uh, jump right into this one. So, the first one I have is by The Body Shop. Um, this one is called Love, Etc. Um, and if I hesitate a little bit, it's because I'm going to be looking at the notes on my uh, laptop. So I will be reviewing, you know, um, re, re, um, retrieving the notes um, uh, from, from there. So please do, do bear, bear with me. But this is um, Love, Etc. by The Body Shop. I did mention this one in a video I did about fra fragrances that can can't offend anyone and this was one of them so I'm pretty much almost done with this bottle if you can see I made a big dent in this one because um, um, I'm trying to use it up and uh, finish with it but um, so the notes in this one is it was launched in 2009 I think it's since been discontinued and the top notes are pear, bergamot, and neroli. The middle notes are jasmine, heliotrope, and lily of the valley. And the base notes are, are vanilla, musk, and sandalwood. So it's a very um, light um, scent. Um, it's very pretty. It's, femi it's very feminine. Uh, it lasts, you know, decent on my skin. Um, maybe about, I can get between five to six hours um, from this one. But, um, you know, I really did enjoy it. Um, I, I enjoy wearing it and um, at this point I'm just trying to uh, use up the bottle so I can uh, remove this one from my collection not because I don't like it but because I'm trying to um, you know get things out of my collection to make room for other perfumes that I have so that's gonna be the body shop love etc Okay, moving on to this one right here. This is no uh, no stranger to, to uh, most of you guys. This is going to be Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. And this particular um, size that I have is the 5 ounce. I don't know if the camera is going to pick up on that. But this is the... Um, This is the five ounce bottle. You can see it on the bottom there. It says 150 mil. So this is the biggest size. So I really love this particular fragrance. I really love wearing this. It's very soapy. Um, you know, uh, it's very refreshing. Uh, and I love it. And the, the lasting power is pretty good on this one, which is surprising me because usually um, soap scents can come off very light. Um, they don't really project too much, but I find with this one. I just love it. I love wearing this and it's one that I think I can wear all year round and so this one came out in um, 2014 and um, You know the nose behind this one is Francois de Marchi. Um He's one of the top noses for uh, the Dior uh, house fragrance house and the top note is Sicilian Mandarin the middle notes are pink peony damask rose apricot and peach and the base note is white musk so not too many not too many um not too many uh, notes in this one i wouldn't consider this one a, a powerhouse because it isn't it's not beast mode it doesn't have that many um notes in it but it's just so refreshing and it's very you know it's very pretty on your skin after you take a bath you take a shower or whatnot it's not cloying it's not sticky it's perfect for warm weather hot weather uh like what's coming up for us now at, at least where i am and so i really do enjoy wearing this there's just something about it it's very pretty i find it to be very feminine but it really calms me it really soothes me and i find myself grabbing uh for this one a lot so i really do enjoy this one and if you can tell <laughs> um i'm almost done with this one as well i've put a huge dent in this one i do have uh, another backup bottle um but yeah this is this is one of my favorites from the dior line the miss dior uh blooming bouquet i really do enjoy this one you know, it's good for the office, you know, or if you work like in a hospital where you don't want to offend people. I did. I, I don't know if this is one that I mentioned in, in that video I did about fragrances that don't offend. But this is very this is a very clean, light, fresh scent. You can even wear it to bed. Um, you know, it's not offensive at all. So I really like this one. I think it's very pretty. 
And the next one I have, the next one that I want to talk about is going to be the Ralph Lauren Romance. Now, this one is, is very um, uh, iconic, if you will. Um, a lot of people like wearing um, this particular fragrance. Um, it's been, you know, it's been around for a very long time. And it's just very classy. It, it, this particular fragrance reminds me of Calvin Klein's um, CK1. Just very soapy, very clean. Um, you know, uh, uh, you know, it, it, it wears well on your skin. It's like a skin scent, if you will, this particular fragrance. This is the huge bottle, the huge size. Um, this is a five ounce. Let's see if I could focus for you guys on this one. Um, let's see if it'll focus. Yeah, so if you see it on top there, hopefully it'll focus. Um, if you see it on top there, this is the five ounce bottle. Those of you who are um, in tune with my channel, you know that I like big sizes. But um, this one here has, um, it has uh, top notes are rose, chamomile, ginger, lemon, and yellow freesia. The middle notes are lily, lotus, white violet, and carnation. And the base notes are white musk, oak moss, patchouli, and exotic woods. Um, guys, this is the first fragrance that I've known that has carnation in it. I've, I've never seen that note before. And the chamomile and ginger, I'm not going to say I smell it in this one because I, I don't necessarily smell it in here, but I, I, I can say that this is very, this is very calming. This is a very calming, um, you know, fragrance, if you will. It's very classy. It's just very classy. This is, you can wear this to an interview, you know, you're not going to offend, um, and it's just so pretty. It's just so pretty. It was launched back in 1998. So this has been, you know, a powerhouse in the um, fragrance community for a very long time, you know, in the um, Ralph Lauren uh, uh, line. But it's very, it's a very clean fragrance, a soapy fragrance. If you like soapy fragrances, um, it's not, it, it's not cloying. I do get a lot of um, wear out of this one when I, when I do. Um, when I do wear it, I could get between, you know, six to eight hours on this one. So it's very long lasting and it's not offensive at all, but I do love the soap, the soapy clean, um, um, you know, a, a feel that it gives on my skin. It's like a, a skin set, if you will. Um, yeah, I really love this one and, it, and, and I always try to keep it in, in my collection and this one will be in my collection for a very long time because this is the, um, the big, the big bottle, the five ounce, the 150 mil. So yeah, this is gonna be Ralph Lauren. This is, um, you know, romance, and it reminds me. It's a, it's equivalent, in my opinion, to uh, CK One from Calvin Klein. Not that, not in the, not in the sense that they smell alike, but in the sense that you know of them being soapy fragrances that have you know stood the, the test of time. So yes, I really love this one. It's very beautiful. So that's gonna be romance. So the next one I have is this. This is um, J Lo by Jennifer Lopez, and I would really, you know, recommend you guys uh, to look into some Jennifer Lopez's um, fragrances because there's a there's a lot of gems in her, um, you know, in her collection um, of fragrances. She has a lot of fragrances out there, and this one is one of is one of my favorites. This this is very soapy. I think this, this might be the soapiest, um, one of the soapiest um, perfumes I have in my collection. This is great for like nightwear, you know, if you're, if you're going to bed and you don't want something heavy or you don't want to offend your partner, um, you know, when you, when you go to bed. This is very pretty, very feminine, um, uh, you know, um, not off-putting at all. I, I love wearing this, especially um, in the cold. I mean, you can get away with wearing it in the summertime. But I think this is a winter scent. I just think when the wind blows, that cold air blows and it catches this soapy fragrance, it's, it's just so pretty. So um, let's go through the notes for this one. So this one was launched back in 2002. So this has been around for a very long time now. And the top notes are neroli, orange blossom, grapefruit, middle notes are jasmine, rose, and tuberose. I do get the tuberose in this one. And the base notes are musk, sandalwood, Orris root, vanilla, and amber. This this guy's is, is well blended. This is a real gem in her collection. 
um, I think this one is is very pretty it's not overdone if you will um, it's a very clean fragrance but this is really a soapy fragrance in my opinion at least on my skin and it does last a very long time I can get between six to eight seven to eight hours um, out of this one so this is a cheapy but a goodie but this this one is very well done this one is very well done and um, you know if you like you know clean fragrances and soapy fragrances I would definitely recommend um, checking this one out because um, this one is very soft it's very feminine um, you know it's very pretty it's a very pretty fragrance you know so this is one that I really like a lot from the Jennifer Lopez line so definitely recommend checking this one out okay guys so that's four so far and I want to talk the next one that I want to talk about is this by Alfred Sung uh, this one is called She. So I have a, a little um, backstory about this one. Guys, this one is just fantastic. Um, I would definitely recommend um, getting into um, Alfred Sung's, uh, uh, um, you know, fragrances. I don't hear too many people talking about Alfred Sung's fragrances, you know, um, in the fragrance world. But this is, a, a, this is beautiful. This is gorgeous. So... I want to tell you guys a little bit about this one. When I was, um, you know, younger, a, a little bit younger, I smelled this one and I automatically thought it was off-putting. I didn't like it because, you know, my palate wasn't really into, like, soapy, clean fragrances. But I started working at this store, and it, it, it since has closed. But I started working at this store, and there was a, a manager of mine. Her name was Jen, Jennifer, but we called her Jen for short. She always had this scent you know, she always had this smell on her. It was a soapy, clean, you know, scent on her. And, you know, it was the same scent every day. So I figured maybe it was the soap that she used, you know, to, to get cleaned up and everything like that. Because, you know, most women have different fragrances and most women tend to want to rotate their fragrances and everything like that. But she smelled like this every day. So I assumed it wasn't a fragrance because I was like, you know, she probably has more than one fragrance. You know, she's not, why would she want to wear the same fragrance every day? So I figured, you know, maybe it was a soap or it was some type of lotion that she was wearing. And then one day the store was going out of business and, you know, they were giving away fragrances for free and whatnot. And she said, you know, there's a lot of fragrances because she knows I'm a fragrance lover. And she said, you know, there's a lot of fragrance sounds, you know, that's in the office if you're interested in, in you know, in, in taking some. And I was like, well, what about you, Jen? Are you going to get some? She said, no, the only fragrance that I like that's for me is Alfred Sung She. And when she said that, something clicked in my mind. And I didn't at that point remember the smell because it had been years since I smelled this one. And I never had this one in my collection. But I recently purchased one, purchased this, excuse me. And I received this today, and guys, I couldn't wait to open the box just so I could smell this, so I could see if this was the scent that I remember her to have, you know, to have on her. As soon as I opened this, uh, the, the packaging of the box, guys, and I took the cap off and I sprayed it, this was the smell. I instantly recognized that this is the smell that she has been wearing. This is fantastic. It is so pretty. You know, it's so, so, it smells so beautiful on her skin. It was like her signature scent. You know what I mean? And it was like, it, it smells so beautiful on her. I could see why, you know, she made that statement that that was the only fragrance that she would wear because, you know, it just smells so fantastic on her. So this one was launched in 2000. And the nose behind this one is Ilias uh, Armenidis. The top notes are water lily, rice leaf, and mandarin orange. The middle notes are orange blossom and frangipani. And the base notes are birch leaf, leaf and musk. Guys, just reading off the notes, I can smell the water lily in this. It definitely, you know, the rice leaf is pronounced in this. This is fantastic. It's a light fragrance, but it's one not to be underestimated. This is so pretty and as i mentioned i got it today and i just can't wear, wait to wear it it's clean it's soapy you know you're not overdoing it with this you know it's it's like you're well put together and you spray this and it's like it's enough it's enough for the office it's enough for now you know if you're going to a gala and everything like that it's not you know it's not um it's not beast mode 
you know it's not that it's up and personal you know a lot of times when I would smell this on Jennifer on Jen as I mentioned uh, my manager I would smell this a lot on her I would have to get up close you know usually if I was in the elevator with her or if I was talking to her about some things related to, to the job I could smell this on her so it's not beast mode it's not gonna project but guys it's up and, cl and it's up close and personal when you get up close and personal to somebody who's wearing this it's just very beautiful it, it was just fantastic on her and I, I, I just couldn't wait to get it so I'm so excited that I have this and that it's part of my collection and I'll try to do a separate review on this one because I'm not sure of the lasting power of, because I as I mentioned I received it today but I would definitely recommend looking into this one this is Alpha Sung She and I would definitely recommend looking into um, some of Alpha Sung's um, um, fragrances because I think his fragrances are, are really uh, uh, you know um, underrated but I, I'm really glad that I have this in my collection and last but not least I will be doing a part two on this one I have Chance by Chanel and this is the original one this is not one of the flankers the Eau Vive or you know the Eau Fresh this is the original one and I think this one is uh, a five ounce as well yep here we go it is a five ounce yep at the bottom there you can see it's a five ounce I apologize for um, the rust on the bottom there I've had this bottle for a while even though it may not look like it um, yeah so this is the five ounce bottle and um, guys I love chance this is the older toilet I love chance I can't see my collection uh, 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 you know without it I love having it it's clean it's soapy um, I, I mean it comes off soapy on on my skin and I just I just love having it I love wearing it it's refreshing um, it smells great you know it's 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 for like a polished look you know you can definitely wear this to an interview you're not gonna be offending anyone on this one it's just classy this is just absolutely fantastic um, so this one was launched in 2003 and the nose behind this one is Jacques Paul Jacques Paul has to, happens to be a very big nose over at Chanel um, the top notes are patchouli pink pepper pineapple hyacinth um, hyacinth uh, iris I definitely smell the iris in here I don't smell the pineapple too much um, middle notes are lemon jasmine and rose and the base notes are patchouli musk vividor and vanilla guys this is well blended I love having this in my collection I also have the eau de parfum um, but I had to get the five ounce of this one I just had to you guys know that I love big bottles but this is just like you know fantastic and it, and it, it may look like I haven't used it because um, I try to ration it you know I, don't, I never want to be without it in my in my collection which I need to start wearing it more often because it is a five ounce bottle so I do I know that I will have this for a very long time in in my collection uh, because of because this is a, a huge bottle but this is this is beautiful it's soapy it's clean um, you know it's 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 um, it does project Chanel fragrances no matter how they do project this one projects on my skin I can get a very long I can get eight hours you know I could get my work shift um, out of this one and still smell it when I when I'm getting off of work so I love this one this is chance by Chanel I think it's very pretty um, it's very classy it's also very mm, in my opinion I would say you can definitely smell the citrus note in it the lemon that's in it um, it's very in my opinion it can come off a little masculine it's not it's not feminine it, I wouldn't consider it consider it feminine like I would uh, the um, the Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. This is a very feminine, very pretty fragrance. Um, this one is gorgeous too. It's exquisite. It's you know, it's it's classy. But I wouldn't consider it necessarily a feminine fragrance. You know, I wouldn't consider it to be a pretty girl's fr a fragrance. You know, Chanel was always a trendsetter. You know, she always went uh, played by her own rules. But um, I, I I certainly think this is beautiful, and I I think it's well done, well blended, and it's it's fantastic. So I, I, I definitely had to include this one in my collection as I, as I have had this bottle in my collection for a very long time. And I'm going to try to get some use out of it um, during the summertime. So yeah, so just wanted to bring those those perfumes um, to your attention. And I will be doing a part two. But, um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.